Yes guys, welcome from me, it's another video for Championship Manager 0102 and this is another part 2 of Somebody's Save. This is Matt Collier Brown's PSV save or Journeyman save, whatever you want to call it. Um, now I'm going into this completely fucking blind. He sent it to me um, and I think I remember him saying uh, big news. So, big news could be fucking anything. So, uh, I'm completely blind as to what we're going into here. Um, I'm trying to recall back to when we did part one. I think, the, let's have a look. Okay, well that's ruined it. He's, got, he's at Milan, obviously. He's at AC Milan. Okay, so what, what are we at now then? No one, okay, so we're coming to the, uh, we're halfway through season three then, aren't we? Right, we're half we're halfway through season three, so let's just firstly have a look at um, let's firstly have a look at PSV. Yeah, first thing, first thing first, let's have a, actually have a look when he went. Uh, I think that's more important. Um, so okay, so he went um, at the end of the season. He went on the 18th of May. Personally, I think that's a great time to go. Oh, no, he did tell me something now. And I didn't pay too much attention to it, to truth be told. And I think this is a little bit fucking barbaric. Now, remember the date. 18th of the 5th, 03. 18th of the 5th, 03. Remember that. Let's go to PSV now, then. Uh, competitions. Well, yeah, he's won the league for both those years. Um, and they're currently riding high uh, this season with whoever their manager is. So, well done there. In terms of the Dutch Cup... Uh, didn't win the cup. Didn't win the cup in his time in Holland. It eluded him. And the Champions Cup, we knew he won it in season one, final season two. So yeah, a very, very, uh, a very, very good record. Now, let us just check something on PSV, and that is he. We, he went on the eight. He, yeah, he did say to me, and I don't. I can't believe he did this. If I'm truly honest with you, so he left. Three days before the Champions League final. Um, so I apologise when I said uh, I'm going into this completely blind. Because I vaguely remember him saying about that. Because uh, we were having a discussion about regens. And I think uh, he, he said he felt he gave something away when uh, he was showing me a regen. A regen that we just could not identify who he's a regen of. Um, but he did say something about leaving. And I tried to say, because I had this issue on my, my free man game. Um, I weren't going to leave before the Champions League final. So what I did is I applied for a job. They offered me it. I rejected it. And I reapplied. They, they offered me it two days before the Champions League final. I rejected it. And I, I went for it again. And if I didn't get it the second time, then fuck it. But they gave me it. That's what he should have done. So, uh, and I think he said he did it. He already did it um, a second time. So personally, I'd done it a third time. I'd have rejected it and applied again. I um, personally, personally here, Matt... I would not have left uh, three days before the Champions League final. Um, I think that's um, a little bit strange. I'm trying to remember now, Matt, from the um, from the first uh, update we did. I was against you having uh, that fucking Tomadera, who may I add, I've deleted out my database because he's not a real player. Don't deserve to be in the game. Um, oh, that's um, okay. So let's so though looking good uh, for AC Milan, looking very good indeed. It's got that same formation. Yep, yeah, same formation. We spoke about that, didn't we? The two up top, which is... Oh, he's brought Zlatan on loan. I'm not a fan of buying players on loan uh, on the ODB, if I'm truly honest with you. It's not... Loans are quite flawed in the game, um, even on the update, but they are, they're fixed to an extent on the update. Um, let's have a look. I'm guessing... Where did... Uh, so, yeah, they're not, they're not the holders. I wonder why they sacked their manager or got rid of their manager. Who knows? But... Um, is he in Europe? He is in the Champions League. So he's in the second phase. Oh, look who he's got in his group. PSV. That is quite a group. PSV and Man United. Um, so he beat Man United 2-0 there. That is a hell of a result. Absolute cracking. Um, so the big game is going to be back-to-back -back games against PSV. Um, and in the Italian Cup, he is virtually in the final. He's got a 2-0 um, advantage over Roma. Quite the result there over Roma, the Giants. So uh, let's have a look now then at his lineup. So he's still got Maldini. So he's still got a lot of Milan players. Caragunas. Caragunas has made the move. I like it. 
Uh, who the fuck is... Oh, Bruno, did he... T no, he did. He showed me this guy. He showed me this guy, and I haven't got a clue who... Do you know what, right? I'm going to try and go to a player in a minute that um, Matt showed me, and for the life of me, I can't work out who he's a regen of. Um, and he showed me this guy as well, and when I couldn't find this guy either, I got, I, I'm a little bit lost for fucking words. Um, who else did he get? So, Lee Bowyer. Lee Bowyer is a good signing. Good signing indeed. Uh, Sigalko. Um, Shevchenko and in, in, Inzaghi. Okay. Don't quite know why you've got Ibrahimovic on loan from Trinity Austria, Matt. I don't think he's necessary. I don't think Stephen Reid makes it at this level by no means. Um, I think you've got some great players. I mean, I don't know who the fuck this Bruno is, but he's clearly a regen of somebody. Definitely a regen of somebody. Uh, Hoffland, uh, Larson, Maldini, to Iga Tudor. Uh, he's got... Uh, goalkeepers, in my opinion, is a little bit worrying. Um, Maldini's injured, I see. Okay, so he's got some real quality players. Um, let's see who he's bought in then himself. Uh, he's bought... Are these Bosmans? So, Samba. Um, okay, a bit interesting that he brought Samba on a Bosman. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, Matt. You took over Milan on the 18th of May, right? If Samba was available on a Bosman, he'd have already gone by May. Someone would have snapped him up or he would have signed a new deal. So this is what I believe, okay? My theory. My theory is you had Samba come in at PSV, right? And um, when you got the AC Milan job, before you accepted it, you cancelled the Samba deal going to PSV. Am I right so far? And then you uh, made an approach for him to come to you at Milan. That's what I think. Um, and I also think... No, it's not going to be the same. Could even be the same with uh, Bruno as well. Could even be the same with Bruno as well because you'd have gone for him on the... No, no, no. Apologies on that. You wouldn't have done it on Bruno because you'd have gone for him in June, wouldn't you? Uh, that's just my theory. Uh, apologies if I'm totally wrong there. Um, let's take a look. So secure, big stadium, huge stadium. Got no money to spend. Um, and what was I gonna? I was gonna go to something now. Fucking hell! What was it? Oh, is this? It was a play, weren't it? Right. So this guy here. Does anyone know who the fuck that is a regen of uh, within the ODB? Now I did some checking, right? And he's definitely, definitely a regen. He's definitely a regen. Um, because he, he, he's not a youth, he's not, he's not been located as a youth player, uh, and the reason I can tell that is because he arrived at Burnley as, a, as an academy, and or, or, you know, you can tell that Burnley didn't buy him as a free, because it would say free, so he arrived at Burnley, which means he is a regen. Question is, who's he a regen of? I checked it over and over. Uh, Chris Waddle, Darren Anderton, Steve McManaman, uh, Rule Fox, it's none of them. Now, I don't understand, right? Uh, you know, if anyone has got any help on this to tell me who this guy is a region of, just to remind you, Balance 19, Bravery 18, Flair 15, Attacking Midfielder, Right Centre, English, Right Footed, Aggression 5. Who the fuck is Mike Rennison? It's beyond me. It really is beyond me. Um, so, has he got any uh, players come in on a Bosman? Oh, I was... Uh, Okay. A little bit confused by that, uh, Matt. You've made a bid for Chivu. A 14 and three quarters of a million pounds. You've made a bid for Okoronko. Made a bid for Nicky Ferenka. I get you going for players at PSV. I'll do the same thing. But what I don't get... Oh, unless you've got players going out. You've not got anybody going out that's going to give you the money for this. Um, you've got, you've got no one, so, I don't quite understand that one, um, Matt, please feel free to share with us how you intend, um, to get these players that you've bid for here, um, Chivu, I think Chivu's a fucking great player, um, Okoronko, another player, I mean, look, and, he, and he's turned brilliant, he's a fucking beast, isn't he, look at him, uh, Nicky Varenko, Another solid player for Enko. And... I don't even know who the fuck he is. 
I don't know who it is. He did say to me he found Romario Regen. But I don't know where uh, who Romario Regen is. Let's just take a look at his reserves. No. Okay, let's have a look at... Uh, let's have a look at PSV then, shall we? He's still at Tomadera. Fuck's sake. I thought you said you had Tomadera... Um, Romario Regen, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's have a look at something over here. Okay. And that's it. So, yeah, I've got a few questions on that map. Um, I'm not critiquing, just asking. Um, you know, just, just intrigued, really, uh, as to how you um, expect to get those players when you've got no money coming in, why you've got Ibrahimovic on loan, when um, you've got, you, you're, you know, you, you're very healthy up front. You are more than healthy up front, uh, in all fairness. Shevchenko, Inzaghi, um, Kutuzov is brilliant. Bruno, whoever the fuck he is, is an absolute ph phenomenal player. Um, crazy. Um, so, anything anybody wants to add to this save, or if they want to send me your own save to analyse... Uh, feel free, and we will look forward to Matt sending me part three, and we'll see where he is at with his journeyman save, now at AC Milan. Take it easy, guys.